be installing a flex fuel sensor today. Uh, there's the two pin connector that goes on the R1 board on a K tuner. So here's here's my fuel pump setup. Um, uh, I, I'm using the stocks, the stocks anyone has to return. So the cool part is that this E85 sensor, well flex fuel sensor, goes directly into this connector. Um, it's a 3 8 I got the wrong connector on this side, so I'll have to go get another connector to connect this end to this end. I want it, I want to set it set it about right here. Uh, I think that'll be fine. And then I will wire it up. So I ended up having everything I needed uh, laying around. So uh, I'm sitting kind of like. sensor just right here oh, uh, I had a relay put in the front um, about last week I just didn't video that I should have but I ground that there switch 12 volt right here and then uh, this goes to the R1 board and then the K tuner I got the power wire ran I actually went through the E, e brake on it uh, into the center console and then underneath the floor coming out right about there. Okay, so I'm going to connect red to the power wire then I'm going to connect black to the actual 5 volt sensor content of this of it and then black I'm just going to ground it to this ground for the fuel pump relay. That's actually grounded all the way to the battery. Alright, got it all uh, mounted up, um, tightening everything, uh, wiring all done. So that's what it, what it looks like. Um, and just to recap, this is my actual sending line and this is my return. So I use the factory sending pressure site as the return. So this is mounted on the return side. is 85%. 